Did the Secret Avengers trailer confirm our Infinity Stone theory? Now, some super hush-hush footage from Infinity War dropped last week at D23, but since Disney is keeping it close to the vest to prevent Dietz from spoiling the whole film, the footage was not released publicly. However, that's not gonna stop us from figuring out what's to come in Infinity War. And since we've had some spot-on theories in the past when it comes to Infinity Stones, we're diving in to see if the footage, in fact, confirms our most recent suspicions of not one, but two of the Infinity Stones in Thor Ragnarok, and since we seem to be Infinity Stone precogs, take this as your spoiler warning in case we truly are seeing into the future and our theory becomes truth yet again. Yes! So what did we see in the secret footage? Now it starts off with the Guardians of the Galaxy happening upon a Left 4 Dead Thor floating in space. They bring him aboard their ship and Mantis revives him. Next we cut to Earth where Loki is set to wreak havoc with the Tesseract and Spidey is on a school bus when his spider sense kicks in. From there we see Doctor Strange fighting along with the Guardians and Iron Man, Thanos using a frigging moon as a weapon, and Captain America with a beard that's not Peggy Carter. So Cap goes from hero to war criminal to unshaven Miss Screen in three movies. But within this smorgasbord of Infinity War clips, one detail in particular caught our eye, and we think that this detail is what confirms our current Infinity Stone theory. But first, as a refresher, here's what we know about five of the six stones. Now, the Space Stone, aka the Tesseract, was previously in Asgard, but now, according to the secret D23 footage, will be wielded by Loki on Earth. The Power Stone is still safely locked away with the Nova Corps. The Mind Stone is with Vision, serving as his power source. The Time Stone, aka the AI of Agamotto is under guard at the Kamar Taj, and the Reality Stone is part of the Collector's Collection. So that leaves the Soul Stone, which we believe has been in Heimdall's possession. Now for more on that, check out our deep dive on the Thor trailer. Now in that episode, we prophesize that Hela will be the one to wrench the Soul Stone from Heimdall and use it to make a mess of Asgard in Ragnarok. Now based on a Thor Lego playset box reveal, we've also predicted that Thor will fight fire with fire, or rather stone with stone, borrowing the Space Stone to face off with Hela and her stolen Soul Stone. So if Thor is the one who takes the Tesseract from Asgard to gain the upper hand in his Hela showdown, then it is still possible that Loki gets his hands on it after Thor uses it against Hela. And that brings us to the one detail that ties this all together. Now, as we said, the secret clip opens with Thor floating in space like an Asgardian Optimus Prime. We believe that that little nugget could mean that at the end of Ragnarok, maybe even in a post credit scene, Thor runs afoul of Thanos or a couch-sitting Loki who could take the stone from Thor, leaving him floating in the void of space to be picked up by the Guardians. And upon swiping the space stone from a hapless Thor, Thanos goes on to continue his mission of collecting all of his precious stones. We also know from D23 that Thanos will have the backing of the Black Order for the impending war with the assist from Hela. Now with his team assembled, all it would take at that point is for Thanos to yank the rest of the stones from their collective hiding places and to add them to his Infinity Gauntlet to kick off the Infinity War. But what do you folks think? Have we accurately tracked the missing Infinity Stone? Who else do you want to see team up with the Avengers? And do you think that Thor is in for some hella trouble? I'm embarrassed for myself. Let's discuss. San Diego Comic-Con draws nigh. If you're going down, be sure to join us for Laser Tag, brought to you by the new Hulu show, Future Man. We'll be at the Marriott Marquis. It's going to be amazing. Also, I'm going to be at a bunch of panels, including the big Nerdist Hall H panel on Thursday and the Bizarre States panel on Sunday, so make sure and stop by. Get all the details over at Nerdist.com or on my socials. I'll be posting them there. See you soon. Bye!